Okay, here's the jet. It's just hanging on an Allen wrench, just so you can get a good picture of it. And we're just going to set that baby right up here. There's a nut in the lathe right here. I don't know if you can focus on it well enough. We are zoomed in. Yep. So we just used a three jaw chuck. Don't have to dial nothing in. Fortunately, the threads on this jet are very close to a one quarter twenty thread. And it jams after it threads in there for two or three revs. But we don't care because all we're doing is we're turning this little shoulder right here. Let me zoom in on that. Okay. There's that shoulder right there. And we're going to put it in this nut in the lathe. Just screw it in by hand. And it's really nice to have a gunsmith set of screwdrivers to put this stuff in with. I've got them. What they are is they're hollow ground screwdriver tips. They're not tapered tips like standard bladed screwdrivers. But this will work well enough. When Ben goes to torque them up in the valve body, he'll use those gunsmith screwdriver tips. Because the slots in the head of the screw are, are cut straight walled. And so the gunsmith screwdrivers, Ben's got the handle over there, but here's the different size tips. Got big ones, little ones, and in gunsmithing we have a, a theory about burrs and burr heads. And a lot of screws in guns, rifles, pistols, for a lot of years were just the standard straight slot, but these are hollow ground. Let me zoom in on that. One more time. There we go. These are hollow ground. <coughs> it makes them straight walled on the sides of them so they can fit in a straight cut slot. It's not just like your standard screw head. Anybody can buy these. You can get them from different gun suppliers. It's just the gun screwdrivers kit is all it is. All kinds of sizes. We found one that fit his just right. I'm just using a standard screwdriver here because we're not doing a serious torque. But the shoulder on the screw or the head of the screw isn't going up against the face of the nut. It just locks itself up. And I'm not taking a very big cut because we only have to turn that diameter down by about twenty thousandths of an inch. So it's no big deal. Now we're going to crank this puppy up. Just like as if we were going to cut it. It's already been done. And you caliper it or mic it or whatever you got to do. Set your dial. Come over here and just hand feed it. Nothing fancy. This cutting tool has a bevel on the back side of it. Right here. And I turn it with the cutting edge, but on the back side it's got an angle to it, and that takes off that little burr on the back side of the head. Make sure it seats down in the card body just right. And that's the end of it. Now we're going to take this baby out. And if I don't lose it in the chip pan, we'll be just fine. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Hold on. There we go. Looking pretty. Oh.